Hi Gemini, thanks so much for joining me for the February of 2022 Tarot Scope, Psychic Tarot Reading. Yeah, there's a lot of twos going on, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. But first I want to talk about, uh, my name is Vicki Verley. Don't be fooled by imposters. Found at VickiVerley.com or Rock and Roll Prophetess on the uh, YouTube. We're going to do the reading today with the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, my own creation. And then we're going to pull you a card from the Beast, Mistress, Animal Oracle cards. If you're a level 2 Patreon supporter, there's going to be four additional cards pulled in the extended reading on Patreon. And we're going to use the Medicine Woman tarot deck by carol bridges okay so yeah there's all these twos i'm going to start to shuffle there's all these twos going on and i always think you know two is not your number gemini but i think of two because you look your symbol of the uh gemini looks like a you know it looks like a roman numeral two and then there's the you know the sign of the twins and there's two twins are two two people obviously you know <laughs> So I do feel a strong association with the two, but the two thing is going to be affecting everybody. And by the two thing, if you're not following, what I mean is that it's going to, we're going to have February 2nd of 2022 during this month of February, and then we're also going to have February 22nd, 2022. So a lot of twos, and what it really is, my guides told me that these repeating numbers, they go off into infinity, and it's like a bridge or a chain off into higher dimensions. And then it definitely does open up, you know, portals to higher dimensions. I just need a quick sip of my tea real quick. I'm getting a little hoarse here. So it opens up portals to higher dimensions for everybody. Everybody will feel it, okay? Okay, so let's see what's going on with our Gemini friends for this month. The node is also another big thing. This is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Rising, Gemini Moon. Another big thing that I want to, or, and anybody with uh, prominent Gemini placements. Okay, I think I got all that out now. But the, the other thing that I wanted to point out is the node has finally really moved out of your sign now. So it's it was a long time. It was a year and a half where the eclipses were happening in your sign and your opposing sign of Sagittarius. And You've probably been really transformed by the whole the whole time frame. Well, everybody, you know, in your case, that's about the time frame of COVID. But in other, it would have been, you know, that COVID would have happened anyway. But your transformation highly likely would have happened anyway because of the nodal thing. So now you're in the period of like adjustment, adjustment after the big transitions and the big turbulence of all the eclipses going through your sign, and now you have like a time of getting kind of catching your breath and getting your balance here. The Emperor is the very first card out. So Emperor, male or female, there's no gender in these readings. This is somebody in a position of power, authority, could even be you, Gemini. Uh, but they're carrying a, a heavy load. This is what I get. They're carrying a heavy load and they need help. So if it's not you, if it's you, it's like you may need to you know, hire people or you know, help have call in help for whatever reason from family or in some cases maybe it's even like a you know a, a, a home health co-worker or a nanny or you know a au pair or whatever it could be like that or if you have your own company you may need to hire people but it could be an outside person and they're needing help and you could maybe take advantage of that you could be the helper maybe they would hire you for a job or you know those different things you may be called to do to come and help a family member or something like that that could happen too because we do have this ten of swords up here so there's been something something has gone down the ten of swords is not a, a small thing and we, somebody's really been somebody maybe even is having back surgery or fell and hurt their back or something but you know you look at this and they all look at these guys everybody's looking one two three they're looking this way this one's they're all they're all looking in they're coming to help that's what the vibe that i get we're all coming to help and by working together in this group for whatever the case may be whether it is somebody who's hurt and like well i'm going to go on monday and take them some food i'll go to you know you're taking turns like that if it's a family member or you know maybe they are needing to hire several people it's there is a it's there's a higher reasoning going on and you're the prime candidate yeah that's the prime candidate that's you i'm gonna write that down i was gonna say the prime suspect but they came through with the prime candidate but you're the one that um was really going to shine in this instance whether it is like you get hired for the job and you're, you're kicking ass at the job doing really well 
or if it is, you know, um, you know, really doing, helping, you're helping a lot. You're helping a lot to the good of all. You're contributing a lot to the good of all. You're being really a, being a team player. That's what I want to do, team player. But even out of the team playing, whatever is happening, you are, you are really shining. Like, you're really stepping up. If it is a relative or something, you're really stepping up. If it is a work thing, you're really stepping up. And you know what else? You're getting the acknowledgement. It's not like you're being the martyr. You're getting the acknowledgement for it. You're really, um, you really come, you know, you really put your best, you know, work well under pressure or, you know, this is where you're giving you a really opportunity to shine. Yeah, and things are starting to move quickly. Things are starting to move quickly where you've been stalled. You've been hermit and you've been strength and waiting, waiting, waiting. And now all of a sudden this month things should really start picking up. I would say for you guys, right off at the first of the month, we've got that new moon in Aquarius. That's a nice trine to your air sign energy. You know, that could really, this reminded me of the, the, the trining. And this reminds me of Mercury well as well, your ruler. But like a trine, this looks like a triangle too. So we're, we're looking at that trine energy. This has a triangular shape. Um, that trine energy of that new moon in Aries. I mean, excuse me, new moon in Aquarius. And you hit the, you, you can really hit the ground running. You know, you're, you're on it. You've been waiting around, waiting around. Bam, now things are moving. Final outcome for this portion of the reading is we've got the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is spiritual, intuitive. There's no gender. I feel like... Um, I feel what I'm getting out of this, they're talking about uh, gazing with uh, awe and wonder. Like, you're like, how the hell did we even pull that off? This could be some deadline at work, even. Maybe it's somebody at work, and they're like, man, we're never going to finish this project. We're, uh, we need your help. But you're going to pull it off. I'm going to put that as your headline. You're, you're going to pull it off. And then there's this uh, really good feeling of, let me write this, going to pull it off. Or you can pull it off. Pull it off. I'm sorry, I have to make it clearer. You can pull it off. If I don't write it down, I will forget it. You can pull it off. Okay. Yeah, but then there's this feeling of, yeah, we did that. There's something really amazing about it. It could be somebody having a baby even, or you having a baby. You could have been in labor for 10 hours or something. You had a couple tens here. It's like, and then you're, afterwards you're holding the baby like, oh, we, could, you know, we did it. I did it. So the, there's this feeling of relief. Yeah. Relief is another very strong word. After a lot of action and a lot of scrambling and, you know, going through something, then there's just like, oh, okay, we can take a break now. All right, so you are an air sign person. So what we're going to do in this next portion of the reading, we're going to look for the air sign significator, which would be either the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, or the King of Swords. So whoever shows up first will represent you. Oh, this one wants to fly out, but it's meaningless. Not meaningless, but, you know, that will represent you, and we'll look at the cards that are surrounding you and see what's going on. We'll find you. I'm going to find you in this spread here. So, where any of the, the uh, air sign court cards or the sword court cards, here you are, Queen of Swords. That's your representation or your significator is what the, the actual term is. Okay. So here you are, and we're going to look at these cards that are surrounding right around you. Um, you know, you've got some beautiful cards. Right away I see the Ten of Cups and I see the Nine of Cups. So those are like the two highest cup cards in the whole deck. That means happiness, joy, elation. The word elation is coming through. I want to sing it, but I don't even know what song they're talking about. You know what I'm hearing it from? I'm hearing it in the tune of, maybe this is what they're trying to get me to sing, of infatuation. What is it? It's like a disco song. Infatuation. I'm off key, bad. Because um, that's not what really my genre of music. So there's an infatuation going on. If anybody recognizes, it's like an old kind of disco song or dance music song. Infatuation, yeah. So there's an infatuation going on, definitely. Because look at it, around this Ten of Cups here. You've got the you got the Knight of Cups on one side, the King of Pentacles on the other. There's there's been a, quite a bit of love stuff coming up. That's not usually what I lean towards in these readings, but maybe because it's Valentine's Day. I don't know Valentine's Day in the states. But this sure looks like you're trying. They both want you, like you know, you're really happy. Well, or again, this could be that group dynamic. Because it's almost like the beginning. Here's that central card of the Ten of Cups. We're happy. Usually it's a couple, you know, a partnership. 
But this encompasses the whole family, especially with the kids there. And so for some of you, it could be like you're, you know, they both want to really be with you. This one and this one. Water sign energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. If you're trying to decide, but there's nothing. It feels more like everybody's coming to the, to the party. Everybody's joining in together. We're all coming to the party. We're all coming. We're all coming together. This could be like after this, you know, whatever we, we, we've just gone through. Then everybody shows up, you know, uh, you know, big, we kill this big work project or we get it done or we get the house cleaned up because we're going to sell it or, you know, all these different things. We accomplish this big task and then everybody comes together for the celebration because over here there does seem to be some financial stuff going on as well. Financial in a good way. Justice, some of you may be getting some money through some kind of illegal things. Awarded a settlement of some sort. Or maybe it's even a tax refund if you have a tax refund coming. A lot of those come in February too. It could be. Um, I'm hearing the term working capital. So whatever it is, it feel, or seed money is another term that's coming through. Seed money, working capital. So it could be coming through as an investor, or maybe you do get this award, this settlement, and then you turn it around and invest it in a business, or your tax refund, you turn it around and start up a business or something like that. Six of Cups is here. So this could have been something from a long time ago. All of a sudden, it's popping back in. Like, oh, wow. This is also a card, though, of children. So this could, there's a lot of uh, energy ro rotating around family as well. <sighs> You're looking at this. You could feel a little overwhelmed. you got to call on your friends. you got to call. Now I'm hearing that old song. What is it? Because you got to have friends. Well, you got to have friends, and that was showing everybody coming together. It's showing everybody coming together here. It's showing you like facing the dragon is what I want to say here. Like here you are with your sword, and you got you got all this crap to get through. This is like you're gonna have to fight. Is you gonna have to fight him, and then this, and then there's more fighting. It's a lot for you to get through. It's a lot for one single person to get through on their own. You need help, and it's everywhere. It's showing all over. It's showing right below you in the three of cups here. That's people coming together, you know. Um, if, if, if you come together and do it as a group effort, it could be a huge success. That's what's needed. You can't do this on your own. I mean, you can You can try, uh, but it's going to be really, it's, it's going to be so, what is it, many hands makes light work or something like that? Is that that saying? Yeah. So that's what you need to be focusing on in, in bringing in, enlisting, uh, they're saying enlistments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that When I say enlistments, that reminds me of uh, military. But no, it's definitely to accomplish some big task. Or if something's going on in the family, don't be afraid to ask the others to help. If there is somebody going through something, maybe a surgery recovery, you know, or something like that with all these swords, sometimes that can be a surgery. Uh, anything going on with the family, don't be afraid to call in the cavalry. That's what they're, that's what they're talking about, calling in the cavalry. All right. I'm going to do your animal totem, but i got to make a quick announcement because I'm so excited that my book is finally out. The Sigil Workbook, it turned out really beautiful. Uh, if you're not familiar, sigils are little doodles or magical symbols. They're a little bit of both, and they're really fun to do, and it can help you to manifest things. It's a whole workbook, and then there's some, you know, template pages and blank pages. So you have everything all in one spot instead of having three or four different, you know, you have your your templates, and then you have your sketchbook, and then you have your other diary. You know, it's all encompassed right there. So that's really cool. And one more announcement: I am opening up for the Aries Ingress reading. Always a real popular yearly reading, available for a limited time. You can find out about that below. All right, thanks, Gemini. Let's get back to your animal totem. For the month of February of 2022, this is the reading for Gemini. Masked Marauder of the Raccoon. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I think it's more of like you're trying to hide how much stress you're under. Usually this card can be like a, a warning, like don't tell anybody. Keep that mask on. Keep things secret. But here I'm thinking like maybe you're already doing that. You know, you're trying to save face. No, I can handle I can get it done. I, you know, you burn the candle at both ends. That could be over here, too, burning the candle at both ends. And, um, 
You gotta have, you gotta have help. Okay, Masked Marauder in the Night. Resourceful, curious, tactile, resilient. Ceremony, ritual. It could be a wedding. This could happen in somebody else's room. Sometimes this could be a wedding with the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups. Because uh, it says ceremony and ritual. The Shaman's Journey. Uh, paying meticulous attention to hygiene and diet. Yeah. Well, it could, it could be. Especially if you're, you know, some of you maybe, if there, there is an ill family member, you know, with COVID, we got to be real careful. If there's an elderly person or somebody who's highly susceptible, the hygiene thing, we got to wash your hands and do that kind of thing. Could be like that. But for the most part, it is, and that's not usually, that's what's interesting, you know, usually Gemini aren't loners. Usually they're very social and being around people. But this month in particular, call in the Calvary, call for help. Somebody might be getting married, you might be attending a wedding. Business looks really good. Seed money keeps coming up. Seed money, seed money. All right, so um, that is the reading. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting my channel all the ways you do through liking, sharing, commenting. Please hit the subscribe if you're new and because it really does help the YouTube algorithm to get the word out there to other people. Patreon peeps, the four additional cards coming up next. Thank you all for tuning in. Remember your love and beauty and karma. Have the best month ever. Two, two, two. Ta-ta for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>